Welcome to the Online Success Journey Podcast, your opportunity to discover and learn from entrepreneurs like yourself. This is not your typical podcast, but a place where you can get the real story and find out how real people encounter speed bumps and detours, but journey through to find success. Now here's your host for the Online Success Journey Podcast, Patience. Hello everyone and welcome to Online Success Journey. This is episode 252. Today we have Krishana Mohan, entrepreneur, business coach, speaker, number one best-selling author as seen on Fox TV. Over the last 20 years, he has helped three Fortune 500 companies, several startups, organizations focusing on sales, business development, and finance. His management style has been described as decisive and motivational. Where success comes from focus commitment to developing new business, cultivating relationship, training salespeople, and creating growth strategies. Hello, Christian. Uh, hi, patients. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I know the clan here is anxious to hear your story. So let's get started with the basics. Can you tell my clan a little bit about your background, what you did before you started your own online businesses? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, patients. So I have uh, uh, come from sales background and, um, you know, interestingly got an opportunity to start my career with Fortune 500 companies. So I worked in, um, you know, these large uh, multinational companies for over, you know, nine plus years. And then I moved on to, um, you know, different uh, industries like I worked in consumer durables, IT, telecom, manufacturing, um, you know, energy, data center, IT. So I worked in several industries uh, in the corporate world for over, you know, 20 plus years. And then at that point, I realized that I have the right skills and knowledge and experience to start something of my own. Uh, and then um, also focus on my education along the way. I, I gained three master's degrees in, you know, marketing, mm -hmm. my international business and then finance. And then, you know, that's how I got I got into my own business. Um, so that's a little background uh, you know, before I started my business. Wow, what a great background creation. What is the most dangerous belief an entrepreneur can have? Well, the most dangerous belief that an entrepreneur can have is that um, they, they overestimate what they can do and they underestimate you know, what, what is really possible. Let me reframe that. They overestimate what they can do. So I can do this, I can do this. This, this year I can do $2 million revenue or I can pull this business, this idea off. My idea is a billion dollar idea. So some of these are, from my perspective, are overestimating themselves. The reality is very different. What I mean by underestimating what, what is possible is sometimes the, these entrepreneurs, these business owners, they have the talent, they have the skills, they have the idea, but they don't know what is possible with what they already have. They don't know their strengths. Um, so sometimes they will try to be very conservative, wherein they should be very aggressive and do the right things, and they don't do that. So either way, both are dangerous to them. Wow. So what advice would you give? Because sometimes when they start, they're like, oh, I don't want to be so aggressive, seeing that like I'm marketing, marketing, I feel like I'm a needy, needy. Maybe you can give them. What could they do? I, I think first and foremost thing, uh, patients, is that everybody needs to do a self-assessment. I need to sit and assess uh, my strengths, my weaknesses, my opportunities, and my threats. You know, that is something that everybody needs to introspect before getting into anything. You know, that's the step number one. By that, what happens is that you get clarity on you. Yes, these are my strengths. You know, I'm a, I'm a great communicator. I have my education and I'm also people oriented person. I, I have, you know, some backup in terms of what I can invest in my business, but I may not have a great idea. OK, so that's the reality. There is other guy who has a brilliant idea, but he has no resources, no money, no network. He doesn't know what to do. And you have other person who is just frustrated with his job, but he thinks that getting into business will solve all problems of his life. So there are different, different situations, but they need to get an assessment about who they are, what are their strengths and what are their weaknesses. Then what they can do is they can start working 
in tandem with their you know strengths and then you know filling those weaknesses by bringing other partners like the for people like money partners which are investors or you know some some other guy may have an idea they can bring that one they can work on those weakness by bringing others onto the table and then combining these two things will become uh, a rock solid foundation you know and then you can build that business so this is not the way people are looking at it they're just jumping on board first and then figuring out it later and then before they realize it's too late and then now you have this failure business and then which is has which has repercussions on your your finances your family and then it is putting pressure on everything else and then you try to make mistakes by by taking some wrong steps maybe going back to the job or maybe repeating the same mistakes starting another business but you never analyzed where the mistake is happening it's not it, the mistake is not marketing mistake is not the actions mistake is 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 the mindset mistake is having a clarity on on what you're doing um as against where you are going let's touch strictly on mindset as someone who has started and then failed but the family maybe has spent all the family's money and his money and then it's like oh maybe this is not for me i would like try something else how can they change their mindset and get into a different approach yeah so patients if they do the homework like i mentioned in the in uh, you know previous answer um they they don't need to worry yes failures happen in business failures always happen and failures are like opportunities you know you you basically your job as an entrepreneur is problem solving you got to be a problem solver your job is, as an entrepreneur the number one skill that you need to have is problem solving you have to solve problem i don't have money so where do i get the money how how does the finance industry work how does the banking system work how does the private investors work what is in it for them to invest on your business why should they invest in your business it's your job is to figure out these answers and be in a position to present them to them so they are convinced to invest in your business like go back to the family your family is upset you it's your job to bring them on board to your ideas to your goals to your philosophies you know it, it, because if they're not on board then you can only go so far because they're always going to pull you back your family can be your strength your family can be your weakness in business because family want to be conservative you got to protect your family that's your responsibility now you are taking out risks you're going out of the way and doing doing things that are risky and then there is a, there is always a chance to lose you lost this in the first business there is always a chance to lose in the second business yes there is a probability of success but there is always a chance now how do you answer that how do you justify that so you got to make sure that you bring everybody around you whether it is your wife your husband your family your friends or extended family or or your your stakeholders like maybe partners investors or or anybody including employees everybody has to be on board on your idea your philosophy your goals and then everybody needs to believe in each other i believe in you yes you move forward if you fail we are with you if you win we are with you you know that's the kind of mindset we need to bring onto the table otherwise you cannot leave people you may lose employees you may lose like i said you you will you will you will risk your relationships you cannot do that wow thank you for sharing on that okay you have been in the business for the last 20 years why do you do what you do oh yeah so you know during my childhood uh, patients you know i've been um you know testing a lot of things or analyzing a lot of things um you know thinking a lot of things and then just working um on myself to realize who am i what's my personality what is it that i really want in my life what is my my strength and what is my weakness and then i realize that i'm a people person i like interacting with people i like you know i like solving problems when i mean people's problems and um i get satisfaction out of that and I, i because i made a difference in somebody's life um and then thereby i i realized that i may be good in sales and that's how i ventured into sales and i realized that you know i tried other things that did not work but when i got into sales i realized that became like a natural extension of my personality sales is not selling mm-hmm. a product or a service it's just solving somebody's problems maybe through your product maybe through your service you are an advisor you are a consultant 
you you I, you make them realize their problems you identify their problems and provide the best possible solution and then you become their trusted advisor and that's a long term relationship so that's that's the philosophy and then uh, whether you're selling for another company whether you're selling for your company you're an entrepreneur your business owner you're always selling you know it's your job to sell your idea your job to sell your you know your your, your product your, your job to sell uh, the opportunity in your company when you're hiring an employee it's the same thing so because I, I i i care i care for my people around me at any any kind of capacity i you know i think um I'm doing what I'm doing, and that's what drives me forward. You know, yes, there are problems. Our problems actually increase as you as you move move forward mm-hmm. in life. Now I face bigger problems, but that doesn't mean mm-hmm. that I'm going to be you know uh, you know I'm I'm going to be you know worried about it. I'll I'll try to you know figure out a way. You know, I have that's my job. My job is to figure out solutions to the problems. That's how I move forward. Let's put the man aside. How do you know you are successful in your businesses? So, you know, it goes back to the goals, like I, like I mentioned before, right? Like when you started your, your, your business or when you start, um, you know, 2020 in the beginning of the year, you have, you're planning for the rest of the year. You know, like I have my revenue goals. I have my cash flow goals. I have my profitability goals. I have my employee goals. I have, I have my organizational goals. I have my personal goals. I have my family goals. So, and then I break that, those goals, annual goals to, you know, quarterly goals. And then break them to monthly goals and break them to weekly goals and break them to daily goals. And then I track my progress against those goals. So if I'm behind, then I'm behind. Then if I'm if I'm on target on my goals, and then if I exceed those goals, obviously I'm successful because that's my I know my starting point. I know I know my finish line. So my success is measured based on you know, based on based on this, um, you know, not not really based on what others think. You know, success is is a very generic term. You know, and, and then you know, to me, I have my own goals. I I like freedom. You know, I, it's it's not about money. It's it's what money can bring um, to you in your life. You know, your happiness, your peace, your health, and then um, you know, your family, uh, yeah, everything else around you. Um, but I think, yeah, achieving my goals and then, um, you know, fulfilling my my bigger purpose, uh, as I mentioned, in in this intangible way. Um, if I'm, you know, fulfilling those, then I'm successful. If I'm not, then I'm behind. But can anyone be an entrepreneur? Yes, if they're willing to pay the price. <laughs> so what I mean by that. What's the price? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in, in, in a precise language. So what I mean by that, I'll break that up, you know. Yes, because anybody can become anything. That's the number one thing. It's not that, you know, it's only for select few people or something like that. Anybody can become anything. I can become a doctor. I can become a scientist. The answer, but, the, but the reality is I need to pay the price. It's a different price. You know, there's a different sacrifice. Price, I mean, not money. Sacrifices hard work sleepless nights you know you will jeopardize so many things you know to achieve that goal but are you willing to pay the price that's the real question that is the reason why many people give up you know failure is constant you know everybody will fail that's not a you know new thing unless you're very new you'll be surprised with failure but somebody who's in the business for a long time failure is just like everyday thing it happens on a daily basis but they overcome came those failures and they, they, they are living, they're doing what they're doing. They're, they're moving forward in spite of failures. But the, re, but the real reason why, are, why they're moving forward is they are paying the price. They are you know, working hard. They are willing to learn. They are willing to make sacrifices. They are willing to make a difference to others. They have a purpose. They, they have a dream. Um, but but the, but it's not everybody is like that. They they can they can fall down hundred times and wake up and then you know be, you know do the next thing. So then they're, they're not going to give up. So this is an attitude. If you if you don't have these kind of you know belief systems and this kind of you know uh, attitude towards the work, then then this is not for you. What sacrifices and prices have you paid along the way in the last twenty years? 
Well, you know, it may take one day to tell that how many things I lost <laughs> to get here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, money is a big, big, big sacrifice. Obviously, um, I lost a lot of money. Um, uh, I invested a lot of money for education, like that so much money got into uh, investment in terms of you know learning education it 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 is continuous journey um, there's so much investment goes to education um that people can even buy cars or homes with that kind of money again that's what i said are you willing to pay the price um and um the money lost in business because of the failures that i had um relationships not spending time with the family um like uh, no parties no friends um nothing of nothing of that sort for extended period of years maybe like several years literally i i don't know what i did in many years i have nothing to memorize um other than work other than this so you know sleeplessness uh, forever almost forever um uh, yeah i mean so th th there's there's nothing that i can describe that i did not uh, sacrifice to get get here to where i am like every possible thing that you can imagine i think i have i have made a, my, i have made that kind of a sacrifice but uh, you had your goal yeah my, to reach my goals but but i don't have any regrets because i'm on a purpose i'm on a mission so thank you what have you learned from business as a whole what i learned is that uh, there is tremendous amount of opportunity that 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 we cannot even imagine even i cannot even imagine in terms of what are the possibilities there is no limits to what you can do um, the limit is only in your own mind i can make a million dollars yeah that's true because that's what you believe whatever you think whatever is the number you want to add to that you can achieve there is no limits to it i can make hundred thousand dollars fair enough that's what you believe so that's what is going to happen there's no limits to what anybody can do in spite of any kind of challenges but but it's just the belief system because once you have the right kind of a belief system um then the then the opportunities show up in real world they're out there everything is out there but just because of what we believe are possible in our life those only um, we we pursue in life and that's how we get results in life and that's how that becomes the belief system get, gets more validated and it becomes a firm belief in terms of what's possible so unlimited possibilities um is what i i i learned through business what i also realized is that through business a lot of other doors will open um to meet interesting people uh great relationships unbelievable you know uh, access to un unbelievable ideas talent um it's it's extremely gratifying satisfaction um uh, you know beyond money uh, that 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 comes along pursuing a business because you're you're it's like a sport you you're playing for that trophy you know if you, if you look at it and you have these players you have to be you know you know a team player you have to work with everybody you need to understand their strengths and their weaknesses and in the end once you get the trophy you forget all the hard work that you did what is one thing no one knows about you oh uh, my spiritual uh, dimension my, my philosophical you know ideas and um, you know my interest towards psychology and human behavior how did you get into spiritual it's, it's daily practices you know it's it's right from the beginning onwards you know because um, we are a part of the supreme universe you know um, we are nothing but energetic um, you know fields in in human form um, and um, so that's how you are strong that's why you are strong you are part of everything and and everything is nothing but you um, and once you start realizing that and if you try to connect to your own source then you, all of a sudden you become powerful uh, you no longer are weak your life is no longer shallow because you have a foundation and then you seek answers you seek your your support system um through your source uh, by connecting to the source and you always need to um find out a way to um stay connected 
and then stay aligned to the source. So thereby, everything else around you will start supporting you. Um, so it's it can happen through meditation. It can happen through your own, um, you know, internal journey. Um, so yeah, I mean, so these are some of the ways that I stay uh, grounded. I would say. In your businesses, do you ever have a mentor or a coach yourself? Oh yeah, absolutely. I have. I have continuously have uh, uh, mentors, coaches, you know, guides, um, teachers. I mean, I have I have constantly had somebody to. Um, and I, I went and you know I was seeking answers. I was seeking their help. I was always seeking um, you know uh, answers and and help for for the things that I I don't know uh, throughout my journey, including now. Um, it's very important for everybody. This is something that I would suggest anybody is that they have to have, um, you know, mentors or coaches to help them to reach their their goals, uh, because there is help out there. There are people who are really, you know, ready to help. Um, they have been there. They have done that. They know what you are going through. You don't have to go through that rough roads again um, and avoid potential pitfalls. Uh, but you are the seeker. You got to go. You got to step out of your comfort zone and and seek those those mentors or coaches. Um, and then you know there is help. There's a yeah. lot of help. Yeah. What is the most valuable thing your mentors or coaches has told you? So on a daily basis, if you look at it, uh, no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing a job or business or or, or trying to create something. You're always focused on it and you're always uh, busy um, in doing that. Um, but the way the coaches can help you is to look at what you are doing versus what you want to do and versus what you are, and then identify things that you're not able to see, like your blind spots. You're, you're missing some things that you, you, you're not able to see yourself. And uh, they will help you to stay on track. They will also help you not to deviate from your goal. Um, they will do minor changes that you have to implement in what you're doing can make a significant difference to the end goal that you're uh, trying to achieve. It's like that, just like any other football or any other game. The cloak, you are the player, uh, coach is not the player, but the coach can see things mm -hmm. that you cannot see. But his, his, his valuable inputs or his, his, his observations and his guidance will make you to win the trophy. Let's talk about your business. Tell us more about your business coaching. Yeah. So um, we, are, we started uh, Genius Visionary um, as a management consulting firm helping large corporations on entity structuring, market expansions, growth, um, you know, valuations, um, due diligence and compliance in, um, in m and space and exit strategies. And while we do that, we realize that the small business owners um, needs a lot of help from experts like us. And then we started business coaching practice. And then we started helping business owners like around $5 million revenue $500,000 to $5 million revenue to help them on reaching their revenue goals, um, uh, helping them on, you know, fixing their operations and making um, their business efficient. Um, and then also helping them on uh, business funding and financing. Uh, we also help them on getting them to build business credit uh, based on their, you know, federal ID number so they can raise unlimited capital through the business without um, using their own collateral. Um, so we try to bring in solutions around revenue, solutions around funding, solutions around operations, um, which in turn helps them to reach their goals at the same time, increase their valuation of their business. And then also, um, you know, give them that uh, peace of mind that they don't need to fail um, because the small businesses are having um, a lot of risks to fail, you know, under under two years and under five years. So that's what we do in coaching. And um, we have, um, you know, different ways that the, the, the business owners can engage with us. 
uh, either one-on-one -on -one coaching or a combination of group coaching and uh, our genius online academy which is a 52 weeks diy e-learning platform that we developed um, so they can also subscribe to genius online academy and then uh, learn at their own self pace um, it's it's actually applicable anywhere in the world so so we have an online platform mm -hmm. we have a group coaching we also have one-on-one -on -one coaching um, and then we also have a separate program for funding and financing so we have several ways that they can work with us so this is what we are doing here um, we have a team of uh, coaches we have uh, advisors we have uh, you know full plethora of uh, resources to help any small business owners to reach their goals where can we find your business and how can we connect with you oh yeah so the best way to connect with me is through linkedin i'm pretty active i accept uh, any invitations um also uh, if anybody is interested to you know connect with me or communicate with me or have questions they can reach me at uh, krishna at geniusbusinesscoach.com Again, Krishna at GeniusBusinessCoach.com uh, or they can visit our websites um, GeniusVisionaryInc.com, GeniusBusinessCoach.com or GeniusOnlineAcademy.com. Um, you know, they can get uh, my free book download, um, which is very useful. I listed eight strategies that they can implement in their business to skyrocket their revenues. And then also we offer a three-part education series, series for free. Uh, and then if they need any further uh, help or assistance, they can always contact us and uh, we'll be more than you know, happy to you know, come up with some kind of a solution for their you know, business. You mentioned your book. Is it by any chance on Amazon? Yeah, this book, um, this book we have not listed on Amazon. This book is for our customers uh, who are willing to, um, you know, uh, be coached for uh, business growth. I do 45-minute breakthrough sessions with business owners wherein we show money upfront before, you know, we take any engagement. So we show at least $10,000 in their business that they're losing right now um, without investing a dollar on any advertisement and marketing. So we have a process. So I listed that and I also listed eight strategies that they can use it. We are using, we are um, giving that as a complimentary offer for them. Um, you know, I have a, um, you know, another book, which is uh, Illiterate Real Estate Professionals from my other business. That book is on Amazon. Uh, I'm a number one best-selling author um, uh, on that book. Um, I also have authored another book called Insider Secrets to Build Business Credit and Financing. This is available on lulu.com. Um, yeah, so they have a uh, lot of resources if they want to you know, get hold of uh, either me or my resources. Wow. Thank you for sharing. So, Clan, there will be more from Christian in a moment. If you are listening on one of the many podcasting platforms rather than my website and you are encouraged by Christian's journey, go to onlinesuccessjourney.com for a bonus portion of the interview. The Online Success Journey is a wonderful membership community built for people searching for the path to success. We are one big clan and you can be part of this community for free. Once you have joined the clan, click on part of Christian's journey or over 200 plus other journeys that are available and learn how you can find the right path for your own online success journey. That's a wrap clan. Remember, success is a journey. Patience and Christian. This is not the end of the journey. We hope you've enjoyed listening to part one and want to be sure you know there is a second part to this and every journey podcast at onlinesuccessjourney.com filled with even more success tips, uplifting stories, and even a bit of fun. There are dozens of episodes only available to the members of the Online Success Journey clan. Check out the website and click on Join the Clan for more information. Patience would like to thank you for listening to this podcast and she has a free audio gift for you at her website. Go to OnlineSuccessJourney.com for instant access to this gift. Of course, you know that listening to the journeys of others helps each of us chart our own path. So make sure you're subscribed to be notified as each new interview is posted. 
There are so many ways to stay connected to the online success journey and to listen in. And if you're enjoying the podcast, we appreciate your help in telling others. One of the best ways to share the benefit you get is to rate and review it at Stitcher and other sites by clicking the stars or completing the ratings form. By clicking the thumbs up and leaving a comment on YouTube or liking and sharing the podcast on social media. To review the podcast within iTunes, simply open iTunes to the podcast, click on Ratings and Reviews, then write a review. On behalf of patients and until next time, thanks once more for listening. It is our hope that this podcast will guide you on your own online success journey.